from the William E. Swan Auditorium on the campus of Hilbert College. Three high school teams, Iroquois, Frontier, and Niagara Falls compete on It's Academic, presented by Waterford Village Bank. And now, here's your host, Kevin O'Neill. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the all-new It's Academic. Uh, my name is Kevin O'Neill. We uh, want you to play along at home, or if your uh, alma mater is uh, playing, root for them. Maybe your arch rival is playing, then you could root against them. I'm just kidding. We wish you guys uh, nothing but the best. Uh, good luck at home, and good luck to you as we begin It's Academic with our lightning round. You will need your signals for this. This is plus or minus 10 points. By the way, in our lightning round today, all the answers will begin with the letter O. Our lightning round begins now. Scientists worry about the depletion of this layer of O. Niagara Falls. Ozone. Ozone is correct, plus 10. This mountain was the home of the Greek gods. Iroquois? Olympus. That is correct. The retina is connected to the brain via this sensory... Uh, Iroquois? Optical nerve. The optic nerve. This is the largest mountain range in Arkansas and uh, Iroquois. That the is you? The Ozarks. The Ozarks is correct. This is an angle greater than 90 degrees, but less Iroquois? Obtuse. Obtuse is correct for Iroquois, plus 10. She was the first woman appointed to the Supreme Court. Iroquois? Sandra Day O'Connor. O'Connor is correct. This American physicist directed the World War II... Uh, Iroquois? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer with the Atomic Bomb Project. You need a double reed mouthpiece to play this wind. You're, uh, Niagara Falls. Oboe? It is the oboe, and that completes our lightning round. Plowed right through that one. <laughs> our next round we brought into the 21st century. It's called the text message round. Now, for this one, it's plus 20 points. There is no penalty for an incorrect response. We're going to go one team at a time. You'll each get your five questions. Iroquois, you're up first. Are you guys ready? Hidden in this sentence, you can find what type of bodily organ, such as the pituitary or the thyroid? Gland. Gland. Plus 20. If you gave a report that was brief and to the point, the report could best be described as which one of these? Concise. Concise. Concise is correct. This might have been an appropriate website for what former slave who published the North Star newspaper to provide a voice for black Douglas. abolitionists? Douglas? Sure. Frederick Douglass. That is correct. If you took a vacation in Greece, you could visit which one of these antiquities? The Parthenon. That's plus 20. The quote, a man of 60 has spent 20 years sleeping and over blank years eating. To complete this quotation from writer Arnold Bennett, put in the blank what number of years equal to 156 weeks? Um, three. 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 Three is correct, and five for five for Iroquois and your text message round. Nice job. All right, Frontier, you guys ready to go? Your monitors, please. There will be a nice jump in your score. If you could find in this phrase the name of which one of Columbus's ships? Pinta. The Pinta. Correct. Which one of these adjectives best describes someone who is phlegmatic? Agitated? It is sluggish, sorry. Had the internet been around then, this could have been a good website for what Russian monk who had a great influence with both the last Tsar Rasputin. and Tsarina? Rasputin. That is correct. Here you see units of currency used in three different countries. Which one, named for a South American history, is used in Venezuela? The Bolivar. That is right. Here's the quote. The two most common elements in the universe are blank and stupidity. To complete this exasperated quote from a modern author, place in the blank what lightest element whose chemical symbol is H? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is right at plus 20. Great job, Frontier. <laughs> Niagara Falls, are you guys ready to go? Yep. All right, your monitors, please, as your text message round begins now. Study this garment carefully, and you'll find hidden within it what sign of the zodiac symbolized by the twins Castor and Pollux. Gemini. Correct. Which of these terms would best describe a person who suffers from sleepwalking? Somnambulist. You're right. 
If he had access to the internet, this might have been the website of what Portuguese explorer whose expedition completed the first circumnavigation of the Earth. Magellan. That is right. One energy plant in Hawaii draws on pressurized steam from 3,000 feet below the Earth's surface. That's an example of which of these forms of energy? Geothermal. Great. And finally, man is a blank animal. To complete this quote from the philosopher Spinoza, add what word that precedes security on numbered cards issued to American workers? Social. Five for five for Niagara Falls on your text message round. Great job. <laughs> Our picture perfect round is next, plus we'll meet the contestants next on It's Academic from Waterford Village Bank.